Pepsi Challenger in 1981 looked like, it just looked like space age so far ahead of its time. How do you remember the Pepsi Challenger? My favorite. Favorite Indy car? Favorite car. And it was just a, a terrific car. Who gets credit? Who was the designer? John Ward did the first uh, iteration. Uh -huh. John did the, the most of the chassis, but the aero side of it and the cooling side of it is something we did. What is it? Necessity is the mother of invention. And we didn't have much, but we wanted like the Dickens. And uh, it was just so much better than people realized, including we didn't realize it. And we weren't sure why. And when it started doing so well, we thought, well, we must be very good engine builders. You know? <laughs> well, <laughs> we were OK, uh, but the car was exceptionally good. I would love to be able to say that I was instrumental, that I designed it, but I, it wasn't true. It was a team effort. I always thought Mosley was vastly underrated as a race driver. Mike, couldn't couldn't uh, agree more. However, did he? I don't think there were. You couldn't name very many that were better on an oval. With Jeffrey, when he drove it, we didn't have. We couldn't afford a limited slip rear end. We put a spool in it, and he ran a spool at Riverside on the road circuit. And was long gone. Adios, muchacho. Yeah. Oh my God! If he hadn't had a spool, he he might have been. Well, He'd I mean, have to feel. or maybe everybody ought to use a spool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> that could be. Yeah, it's just, uh, it was a great car. Um, and interesting, uh, it was also the entry to an education in politics because the next year they had changed the rules so you couldn't run it anymore. They made us put stuff on the side more stuff on the... And take away that beautiful airflow. And you couldn't do the rear like that. It, uh, it was just a different car. Uh -huh.